What's up YouTube? You're watching Toying Around. The toy reviews with the information that collectors and posers are looking for. Now I have with me today the Marvel Legends Apocalypse Wave Tiger Stripe Wolverine. This is possibly the most anticipated figure in this release and the most hyped Wolverine in recent memory for me. Now I'm going to open this up and see if he lives up to the hype. So stay tuned for a relatively in-depth review. So now that we have Logan San here unboxed, you can see he comes with the Apocalypse hoses, an extra set of blue fists without the claws, just like the brown suit release. Now that's not so surprising because this figure is just a repaint of the brown suit figure uh, with the additional shoulder pads here. And of course, there is the new face sculpt. The face sculpt is what I'm really happy about here for this figure. Um, I'm a firm believer that Hasbro should start releasing figures showing more emotion because unless he's just standing on my shelf, I'm going to be posing him doing stuff. He needs to express himself. You can't have someone like this with a regular face doing an optic blast. You know, you can't have him having this expression going, Jane. He's got to be yelling, he's got to be screaming, like Logan here, Jane! So as previously mentioned, this blue part moves to simulate uh, this shoulder pad being one piece of the costume on any arm position. It basically just comes right off. There's a peg here, or a hole and two pegs inside the shoulder piece, much like the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball figures, except those ones can go, their shoulders can go higher. Uh, for this Wolverine, he only goes about, look at those shoulders, ripped. He can only go up to here, which really sucks because he can't get any really uh, good striking down positions or arm slots other than this. Uh, but you have your bicep swivel, your double jointed elbows, rotating hand obviously, uh, head articulation, just goes up this much before it comes right out of the peg and left right ab crunch waist swivel um, this joint here only goes this wide this far back this far forward uh, thigh swivel double jointed knee and ankle rocker this is what it looks like on the back of the figure. If you've ever owned any Wolverine Legends figure, you know that the claws just come messed up out of the package. So, what I'd recommend is... Doink! Little manicure here. And my friend Ian on Facebook sells these actual metal claws. You can order them in six, obviously. Uh, check him out. Uh, he's That Guy Customs on Facebook. I will obviously post the link to his page down below, and uh, you could hit him up. These definitely give a much more realistic look to your figure, so let's get that on. Okay, now we got him on. You see that metal claws? Whew. These are real metal. They're sharp, too. Gonna give him that Thanos Infinity Gauntlet pose that people can't seem to get away from. So there you go. Metal claws. Janky rubber claws. Metal claws? Janky. So the main concern with most Wolverine figures, as you know, since he is a shorter character, would be the figure's actual height. So measuring this one here, uh, he is almost six inches with the ears five and three quarters of an inch so size comparison to some other wolver men that i have laying around obviously a whole bunch of them from left to right we have the toy biz legendary series or legendary rider series uh days of future past logan we got brown suit wolverine from juggernaut wave in the back it's x-force wolverine in the middle obviously apocalypse in the back an older toy biz one which the tiger stripe costume looks pretty decent his body is just permanently molded into some weird deformed shape and he obviously is a little bit taller 
uh, I think this is the older Apocalypse Wave, Astonishing Wolverine. One of my favorites, just has weird joints, but the costume and the face sculpt is one of the best. And of course, the original Weapon X Wolverine on the right. And here he is with the world famous blue team. I do not have a Jubilee, so maybe she's around the same height. That's my stand-in. So overall, I'd give this Wolverine a 9 out of 10. Uh, just look at him, he looks incredible. The yellow colors pop, the metallic blue shoulder pads, uh, the stripes look really good, the tiger stripes, they come in nice and long uh, towards the center of the body, unlike the Mezco 112 tiger stripe where the lines are too short. Uh, I only give it a 9 out of 10, I subtract one point because the shoulder range, he doesn't go up that high, and of course it doesn't come with the unmasked head. I mean, it's the exact same mold as brown suit. You packaged an unmasked head with a brown suit. Why not this one? So if you have been waiting a long time for a Tiger Stripe version of Mr. James Howlett here, you will not be disappointed in this figure. I mean, after all, I know you're really all just waiting to do this. Bam. Anyway, I've waited the entire review to say this. So if you're still watching at this point, that means you got to be liking this review. So please hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment below if, if there's certain things you want to see me do in the review, uh, comparisons, and also subscribe to the channel. You'll get notified when I have new reviews out. Thanks for watching. Keep toying around.